What is going on, you lot? So, I want to talk about the puppeteer. Probably the best demon you can actually be. And I'm going to show you how I actually destroy people with this guy. Out of the Necromancer and the Warlord, I think the Puppeteer is really good. I do like possessing the players. If you possess the right player who's got a really good, decent weapon, you could just wipe their entire team out. It is quite insane. We're going to jump into a game and you can follow along, see how I actually play as a demon, how I level up and how I maneuver around this game. As always, leave a like on the video. Let's go. The first thing I do, as soon as I'm here, you've got a 50-50 on how this game's going to go down. You've either got the guys who are going to stick together as four-man, or they're going to split up. If they split up, I normally try to go for them early. But we want to be doing collect the orbs as quickly as possible. Right now, they're just going to be looking for the pages, you know. They're not really going to have that good gear. You could go over there and pressure them early. Sometimes I like to put down as many traps as I can, sort of in the areas where I know they're coming from. If you booby trap this, it's going to give you XP. Or go for the crates, they give you a lot. Quite a lot, actually. The longer it takes for them to find them pages, the better for you. You're going to be leveling up real quick. First off, go for the Infernal Energy. But the key here is that we want the Portal Basic to be maxed as quickly as possible. You can't level it, you know, at level 2. You have to wait a bit. So even yet, they've not even got one page down. Which is good for us. Going along still. Look, we've got Portal Basics now. And you've got two kinds of portals. You've got... For me, I have to press A. And I've got the bottom one there. One of them is a trap one. And one of them just summons them on the spot. I like to sometimes put down traps if I know they're going to be coming from a direction. Okay, here we go, look, already over here. Okay, so they're all staying together at the minute. I'm going to jump through one of them just to get their scare meter up. See if we can get two in one here. Here we go. Boom, two of them. That's going to get their fear meter up. And I already, look, I could just possess one of them. Start doing damage. always dodge them as well. Dodging's quite important. That's going to waste your points out. Alright, let's get the elite portal now. Just going to put a bit of damage into them. You know, you can call, kind of mess around for them for a bit. You want to use all of their health. Any health they've got, anything like that. Put traps that are near them. See, yeah, look, they've just activated one of the scare traps. Going to get their fear up. They're all going to be standing here. Possess the tree and hit him. Nice. Get the portal basic again. Okay, so their fear is pretty much going to go down over time. That's what they're doing. While they're actually over there, we can collect some points. Okay, so they're coming over here. And what I normally do... Just put a trap here quickly. I will spawn some mobs in. Just to put a little bit of pressure. But you can control the mobs that you're spawning in. And they are a lot better. They have more health, more damage. Already, they've got one of the pages. It's fine. We're already level 7. But you want to be pressuring them. If they stay in groups like this, I always try to pressure them as much as I can. There you go. He's just gone into the scare trap. Okay. What I'll do... Summon some more mobs. Jump through two of them. Nice. Get some points for that. We can possess him. Just shoot these down. Okay. See that already you're damaging their health slowly. This is what you want to do. You want to just nimble at their health constantly. It's going to get to a point where they've got no shields, they've got no colas, nothing. It's all about pressuring them early on. I'm going to put down a mob and a boss. Well, actually, no, I'm just going to possess him. Fuck it. Pistol out. Anything that's got semi autos like this, really good. Put him here to deal with that. Possess him. Okay, he's making a run for it. Again, semi-auto weapons. Absolutely beast. Oh, we still got points here. Nice. That's him down. So we're going to go for the possession again. Let's pressure him. I'm not sure what the, what the other two are doing, really. I mean, they should be helping. If I've got enough points for boss here, he'd be absolutely screwed. Let me see if I can get enough. They're bleeding out. There's, like, loads of pressure on them again. 
120. Get traps down. Alright, here we go. We're gonna be pressuring him with loads of mobs here now. And my boss as well. Let's go. Nice. I'm gonna focus the healer here. Healer's the one who I want to get rid of the support. He's running away. Don't want her to even get a heal in. Nice. She's down. Two down. Too much for him. They can't handle it. He's going to make a run now. He's walked into one of the scare traps. Nice. Just, this way he's just got to absolutely pressure him now. He's like, that's it. Just get him to waste his healing. Yeah, he's, he's just going to completely make a run for this. He's not even going <laughs> to... He's not even going for the capture here. He's like, yeah, fuck this. I'm out. That's right. I'm getting pressure on him. Nice. He's kind of survived that for a sec fine try and get some orbs if we can just put more pressure onto him maybe get another scare trap here if he comes back he's coming back okay get some more more mobs let's cover his screen it's actually scaring me Oh, I just missed him. Is this one of these? Okay, he's going to go for the res here. He's going to try. Like I told you in my last video, he's annoying to play against. Oh, he's almost down. He's one hit, this guy. Just need a, a pull. Oh, I just need like one. My God, I'm so scarce for fucking points. Need to try and take control of one of these. I can get him. Need to possess one of them. I'll find them and play them. Run over and get him. Oh, come on! He's so low! One more hit! Oh my god! Oh my god, come on. Let's possess him. This might be enough to kill him. He's going to make an escape, honey. He's going to try it. No! Oh! we got to chase him down. we got to get him. Oh my god, he's actually getting away. Right, we got him. we got him. We've got the boss anyway. If I can get 200, I can control this vehicle. God damn. So he was like one health. See, they've left it so late now. I'm already like level 28. 28. They've not even got the, one of the pages yet. I mean, he's got the souls. He might be able to actually clutch it and get them back. But again, the pressure's going to be even more for them. They've got no no shrimp colas. They, they got nothing. Okay. Let's go towards him again. All right, he's made a stop here. Let's try and stop him. Yeah, no, he's done. He's done, mate. That's it. He's out. <laughs> that was it. What a game. What a game that was. Uh, you know what I was telling you guys about him? About that guy in my last video? Why he's so broken? He's like the Millie, the Millie King. Okay. Now, these guys messed up big time here. They needed to do that stuff quickly. The longer that you leave it, the stronger the demon gets. And guys, that was gameplay with the puppeteer. He's easily my favorite. You see how I was possessing him, guys, turning into him, using a semi automatic pistol and doing a huge amount of damage. That is why I like using him. I, it is fun to possess a player, and make him kind of freak out a little bit. The puppeteer is my favorite. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then leave a like on it. Make sure you subscribe so you're seeing all of my Evil Dead videos. And as always, comment your favorite demon and maybe I'll play him next. See you guys later.